Send it on head, possibly something there. First go score. Double it away. This can be dangerous. You just died. Go there. Get the goal and the sweep. Just get by a final five seconds. You have to get by the goal shot. Wait, but Max will go down. Breakdown was trying to stay in it. Nice patience from Millie. However, Toto was able to get there in time. Looking for three, but gonna go. Again with the corner shot, looking for one more, goes off the post and cleared out. These teams right now are just going at suffocation station. But he's still got one more, looking for that back post. Kabuki with a shot, a beautiful play to tie it up. Hello, hello, hello! I am GJ, and welcome to the next podcast episode of Slips Unscripted. Why are we calling it Unscripted instead of Slips Talk? Because Unscripted is a much better name. It's also cool. <laughs> hmm, anyways, we've got a whole lineup of content for you. For your listening pleasure, and for your viewing pleasure, for you folks at home watching on YouTube. Now! Firstly, get on with the news. It's a bit of a light news schedule this time. I say light, but I think I may be wrong here when you consider what went down in the previous tourney. Now, first and foremost, a recap of the previous tourney. And it was our anniversary tourney, actually, in celebration of one year of Slips' existence, the one-year anniversary of Slips as an organization in Rocket League. And in the end, we, got a whole, we had a whole bunch of potential winners, including three, and count them, I might add, three new, I mean, three former champions. Why did I say new champions? I was going to say new champions. What is, what the heck's wrong with me? Anyway. Now these champions, there we go, these champions had to deal with a new kid on the block, a new team on the block, more to the point, Kitty Cats. There was Salt and Pepper, Imperium, Team Blackout, and Kitty Cats making it all the way to the semifinals. There was basically three champions and one newbie team. But this newbie team was seriously strong. Kitty Cats made it to the semifinals, Imperium... They managed to take down Salt and Pepper, ma thus making it to the finals for the first time in two tourneys. Two Uno Dos. Kitty Cats and Team Blackout duped it out. Kitty Cats destroyed Team Blackout. It was a two win sweep for them. And then came Imperium versus Kitty Cats in the finals, and it was exciting to watch. But in the end, while Imperium did get a win to their name, Kitty Cats would finish up the series, three wins, two one, making themselves the very first team to come into slips and win their very first tourney in slips. Usually when a new team comes around, they lose a tourney or two before getting tournament gold. But Kitty Cats 
They have a win to the record right off the bat. That's amazing. Shout outs to Kitty Cats for winning it all. And shout outs to all of the teams for making it into the tourney and playing their hearts out. One of those teams just happens to be No Limit. They made it to the quarterfinals, but they could not go any further. They got defeated. They got bested by Salt and Pepper. We'll get to No Limits a little later. Now, next order of business, we're going to talk a little bit about this new development that has come up recently in the Slips Discord. 1v1 Divisions! You ever wanted to add a little bit of boxing to your Rocket League 1's action? Well, that's what we're doing right now with the 1v1 Divisions. There are three divisions in total. We got the low rank Division, the mid rank Division, and the high rank Division. Now, 1v1 players would register as 1v1 players in the Slips Discord. And they would jump into, they would be put into any of these three divisions depending on their rank and MMR in ones. And, if, and they took it out with all the other players in their division to determine who is the champion. Right now, our tournament staff is working to make sure that all of these team, all these players in these divisions go through go through a set of mini tourneys to make sure that we know who our first champions are. And once we have our first champions for these three divisions, the number rank player in a division then the number two ranked player in a division will be able to challenge the champion of that division for the title. Say a low rank, say we're looking at the low rank division when we already have a champion at the top of the leaderboard. And one of those low rank players makes it to the number two spot. Then they'll be able to challenge that champion for the title, and if they win, they get the championship. And essentially the number one spot for good measure. And why did I say boxing? Why did I say we're adding a little boxing to the mix? Well, not just because of how the divisions are set up, but also because in the Slips Discord, you get a little championship belt emojis as part of as part of winning the whole darn tourney. I mean, as part of winning in the uh, division championship. It's actually pretty cool. I do believe those emojis are placed on the champions. Slips player profile, if I'm not mistaken. So if you want to take part in the action, and you're in the Slips Discord, make sure that you are registered as a player first, you know, we're registered solo, and you're verified, and what have you. And then, you put in, finalized solo player. No, the finalized player, I believe. And then, once you go, once you follow the... Once you follow the instructions provided by Lola, we'll have, a, we'll have an admin or staff member use Verify Solo Player to verify you as a 1v1 player and you'll be placed in your proper division. These are Lola commands, so exclamation marks are used here. So that's exclamation mark finalize player to get they get registered as a 1v1 player and exclamation mark verify solo player for staff members to verify you as a 1v1 player. You'll get placed into your division. Now, next up, talk a little bit more about a couple of these teams. I've heard that Imperium is on the hunt for a new sub to add to their ranks. And while we're on the subject of Imperium, let's take a closer look at these ranks. Take a look, let's take a closer look at the team, actually. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Imperium. One of the stronger teams in the slip scene. They consist of Iota, Walney, and Altruism. And all but two of them, I mean, all but one of them are Grand Champions. Iota and Altruism are the Grand Champions, while Walney is a Champion 3. He's getting there. He's getting there. It'll be interesting to see who they bring in as a sub. Perhaps another Grand Champion? Maybe another Champion 3 to balance out the rank. Could be anybody. Could be a new addition to the Slips Discord. It could be uh, one of the uh, free agents that we still have. 
chilling out in our Discord, looking for player, looking for teams to join in. Speaking of players, let's talk about Barbaric Union's player roster status. Now, if I am not mistaken with Barbaric Union, the owner of the of this team, Karatat, has been working around the clock to make sure that his team is fully decked out in terms of roster. Now, last I recall, if you're interested in joining his team, the bare minimum, or in terms of rank, is diamond. Karatat is looking for diamond players up. That is a very interesting rank limit. That definitely makes it so that you'll get players that are particularly strong in diamond level onwards. But this does limit his choices, because after all, he's not going to be looking for anyone below diamond. But this does mean, this does mean we're not going to be seeing uh, any uh, bronze player or gold player in the, sub in the substitute part of the roster anytime soon, or any part of the roster anytime soon. What do you guys think will actually join the team? Right now we got King Bonic, Brendan, Barry, and Phantom as part of Barbaric Union. In fact, I will double check this myself. Make sure that we are squared away there. And yeah, I could confirm. King Th King Bionic, Brendan, Barry, and Phantom. That's Cole, Zesty, Barry, and Phantom on the Discord. Barry is in Barry the Sportsman. They got two spots left in the substitution side, so they can bring in more people if they want. Speaking of which, I've heard from Family Pay himself that he is rearranging the Team Blackout roster in preparation for his team to in preparation for a college recruitment league that his team will be playing in. These are, the Team Blackout consists of high school players, so it makes sense for them to play in a college recruitment league. When I see the name college recruitment, I think, hmm, a chance to get into college? I wonder if this league pro provides scholarships as rewards. I mean, it makes sense. That would be pretty cool. Shout out to Team Blackout. I hope they do well in that league. In terms of roster rearrangements, nothing too major, just adding a new player to the ranks. And Belly Play himself is looking to do his best in the ones, like, if I'm not mistaken, he's actually part of the 1v1 division. Let me, I'll look more into that, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I may be missing him by a mile. Huh. Doesn't look like he's in the any of these divisions, to my knowledge. It would be pretty cool if he does. Wait, yeah, yeah, he is. He's in the high. He's in the high rank division. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. I hope he does well. And let's see if there's any other bit of news that I haven't touched upon yet. I think that about does it. I did say it'd be a bit of a light news section in terms of content. Now, I do believe it is time we bring in the first interview of the evening. After that, we're going to be bringing you a new segment. Uh, well, after the usual uh, event hypes and whatnot. And then we'll bring in another interview, and then we'll cap it off. Firstly, our first interview will be featuring a member of Power Gaming, the captain of Power Gaming. Big Al himself. I hope you all enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with the captain of Power Gaming, Big Al. Big Al, thank you very much for coming to the studio. My pleasure. <laughs> yes, yes. It's always nice to talk with one of our teams and slips, or in this case, one of the players. Now, 
I got, got a nice uh, lineup of questions here, all ready, ready to go. Let's get right down to it. Firstly, what exactly got you into Rocket League in the first place? Well, it was um, really um, going to friend's house. I tried it out. They had the game. It seemed uh, great. And also, um, when the quarantine and uh, the pandemic happened, it was a game I liked. I think it was on a sale, maybe. And I decided it would be a great time to to play during the pandemic. Yeah, I find that a lot of video games are played a lot more often than usual once the pandemic hit. Rocket League, and Rocket League included. <laughs> 2020 cannot end soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Dating this recording aside, next question. Now, what is your favorite video game and why is it RL? <laughs> okay, okay, jokes aside, <laughs> what is your favorite video game? Um, my favorite video game, that's a good question. Um, I think many different video games, I don't think I could have a favorite, but there's very good video games because a bunch of them are different. Like uh, my favorite racing game is Rocket League. I have, um, and another one of amazing games I've played is either Fallout New Vegas, as you can see from my profile picture, mm. and other Fallout games like 76 and Fallout 4. So those, so Fallout games and Rock League are probably my favorite games. Never thought I'd hear, from, hear anyone put Fallout 76 on that list, but it's good. It <laughs> there it is. Now, going into uh, some specifics here regarding your hi your team's history with slips. Recently, mm -hmm. you play you were set to play against Mucky Gaming in the, one of the qualifier matches in our most recent journey. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. you, your team wasn't able to make it, so you had to forfeit. What happened mm -hmm. there? Um. Well, um, time zones can be um can be very annoying. Um, I didn't know people's schedules. I'll have to work on that. But um, I didn't know what people's schedules beforehand. People weren't responding. People is stayed offline for a grand for a long period of time. So I can't organize my team beforehand. Some people said they could or could not come, and then switch. Uh, mine's last second, and I had to scramble a team, and in the end. I don't think I could have. I don't think we had the players to pull through. As a veteran member of the Slip staff, I get the time zone part of it on a deep level. Fun fact: Hussein Vazil, the boss of Slips, lives in Bangkok. Guy, he essentially lives in the future compared to me, the Eastern Standard Time boy. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Well, then let's see. Now, now next question here. Now I will now if you uh, let's see here. Ah uh, yes. Um, out of the members of your team, who do you think is the best person on your team, uh, and who do you think is the worst? Um. Well, in I have my list here. Um, I think it could for top. Uh, I've been playing much uh, more often, so it could be seven eight. Um, I haven't seen him play in a while, so that could change. We've also seen uh, Jake Mate uh, do some great progression. So um, I think Jake Mate could be top or probably me. And uh, st statistically speaking, um, the Villager would be the worst player uh, because of his gold three rank. But I think we could all improve quickly as a team, which is one of my goals. And one of my goals when I created the team to all improve as a group. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Very nice. Uh, it'll be great to see your team improve overall. I want to see them play next week. And yes, yep. we do have a tourney next week. <laughs> now, go, going into the interview here. Have you guys ever, like, have you ever met your, uh, this is, Specifically pre-COVID for obvious reasons, but have mm -hmm. you met your teammates in person before? 
Nope, never. Ah. Nope, I just well, met met everyone um, online and through slips. It's a great community <laughs> and a bunch of lovely people. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Perhaps after the pandemic is over with, you could uh, change that by meeting your teammates. One day. That would be pretty cool. That would be cool, but uh, yeah, that could be cool. It'd be hard to arrange, but it'd be uh, <laughs> a, it'd be a great feat to co- accomplish. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, what was the um, like? You've played in Rocket League for quite a while, I'm sure. So you probably know the answer to this. Out of all the things you've done in RL, what was the uh, derpiest? <laughs> derpiest. Um, <laughs> I've been playing for almost under a year now, maybe since about when the pandemic starts around April, March. Um, probably the derpiest. Um, I mean, in in bronze, you could see a lot of, of funny plays. Um, some would call that, but I think it's um, when I was playing like late at night, like 11, 12, like 10 o'clock at night, I was in a 1v1, my mind wasn't there, and I did um, I did an air dribble double tap into my own net. I didn't, I didn't know whose net it was, I just air dribbled and did a pretty sick shot into my own net. <laughs> not, not intentionally. <laughs> Uh, it's like uh, so tired that orange became blue, blue became orange. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, we've all been there in different games. Anyway, now you had now your team didn't play last time, but I'm sure you've uh, watched. You, I'm sure you've seen some of our previous journey. So yeah, might be able to ones. answer this question well enough. Who do you think, like, which of all the teams you've seen play? Which one is currently the best team in the competition? Well, I think we should turn to statistics for um, to find the answer. Um, I, yeah, um, Imperium uh, played very well in the past couple uh, um, streams and tournaments. Um, Eclipse had a had a very good history of winning tournaments. So I think they're a great team. Uh, I didn't see the last stream, but uh, I think it's Stone Cold Lasagna who won. So mm-hmm. you see, sometimes you see. I I doubt it's the team that wins, but it's more the players because some players could switch teams, right? Mm-hmm. So I think if you see uh, the same group of players or the same maybe two three players that play with each other um you see the chemistry and they could be a great team doesn't matter the name so i think eclipse or imperium would be a great team because of their chemistry yes yes we you probably know what went down with eclipse recently that led to the formation of jimco so that was a very interesting development there (laughs) now I've got another question. Uh, How close is your team? How close are you with your teammates? Like on a scale of one to five, you know, in terms of uh, you know, teamwork, relationship, yada yada yada. You guys friends? <laughs> um, honestly, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I don't think we're that we're that close. Uh, one of my previous teammates I've known for quite a while. But um, he left, and uh, he may be planning to come back. I've known him for a while, a while, like a couple months, maybe six, four months or something, five months. Uh, um, but my current team, I don't, I don't know them too well. We don't communicate that often uh, because there's like schedules that could interfere in communication and stuff like that, which we've seen in recent times i guess like last week right yes yes it would be it would be cool to see uh, that sorry to answer your question maybe a two ah yeah probably it would be good it would be good to see your 
bond, see the bonds between you and your teammates strengthen to the point where you go up in the scale. Like to a three, a four, maybe a five? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. And we'll, and see, no. we'll see what happens. Now, now, let's see. We've definitely seen you play at least a couple times in the past. Going into my history here with slips related stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, and you guys even uh, took part in the qualifiers on the December 20th edition. Only to, uh, only to lose against the Slip Staff team, if I recall correctly. <laughs> was it, um, what, was, what was it like playing against the uh, members of the Slip Staff in that one tourney? This was in December 20th. Um, yeah, um, I think it was, um... <laughs> I don't think it was embarrassing, but there is, um, I think we've seen an MMR difference there as with mm -hmm. other teams we played against, right? There's that. And also playing against the people that organize you, <laughs> it's already an extra pressure. So um, don't be too toxic or you'll maybe face the repercussions <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... Remember, folks, in Slips, we encourage people to not be toxic over a gosh darn video game. Anyway, I've got one more question for you before we uh, end it off. If you were the boss of Slips for the next tourney, what mm -hmm. would be, what's the one thing that you would change about it? About Slips as a whole, what's the one thing that you would change about it if you became... The boss at the keys to the kingdom. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that question. I have may have ranted about this earlier um, in past couple of weeks, maybe yes. with other people. Um, having um, having an MMR, uh, two divisions. Let's say, let's say division one, division two, division A, division B, or whatever you want to call it. Right. So let's call it. Um, Champs to GC plus play in one turn, playing one tournament with maybe a smaller prize pool, maybe a bit like, and um, the other division, like diamonds and lower, play in their own tournament um, with uh, maybe a smaller prize pool than the than division one, let's say the champs and GCs, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that would be um, the next big step I think I'd take for uh, Slips for the captain. But I'm not, I don't know about your schedules, but that's, um, that's a lot more organization and planning to keep two tournaments <laughs> and, and two streams, right? Mm. Well, well, I know there was discussion about, such, about the divisions and what have you in the general chat. Soon after mm. the most recent turn. I should know. I lit watched that discussion. I read it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much, Big Al, for coming. And Pleasure's mine. Of course. Yeah, I'm back. All right. I hope you all enjoyed that lovely interview. During the interview, uh, like during that during that segment, I had the opportunity to grab a quick snack, grab me some delicious, and dare I say, enjoyable pizza rolls or pizza bites. Excuse me, pizza bites. They're quite yummy. Put them in a microwave, heat them up for a minute, and they're just plain delicious. <clears throat> well, the voice are variant at any rate. Now let's talk more about upcoming events. Now I've already talked plenty about the one v one divisions that are. Currently ongoing, even as we speak. The matches, at least. But we also have our next weekly 3v3 tourney that is coming up on Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is Sunday. In fact, I will make sure that I have my dates right. And yeah, I do. Sunday, January 10th, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Registration for that tournament ends on January 9th, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's Saturday. You all have until Saturday to get signed up. We already have a good chunk of teams ready to play. In fact, I will name drop a few of these teams right now. Just so you all know. We got 
Kitty Cats, the returning champions, looking to get a second win. We got Dragoons, a new team. We got Barbaric Union, and we got No 4 I am. I guess No Aim. No 4 I am Gaming. I suppose it means No Aim Gaming. That's another new team. And of course, Shrek's one of the returning team. So we've got a mixture of new teams and old teams dealing with the reigning champions. And on, and we still have plenty of slots left available. We got plenty of room. We want a lot of teams for this weekend. Please, I encourage you all to deliver. I encourage you all to sign up, get teams going, and get them get them finalized, and add them to the tourney roster. Make sure you're registered as players and your inner team first before you have your captain finalize the team. Or you finalize the team yourself if you are a captain or team owner or what have you. Now, what is the next order of business? What's the next part of the agenda? Why? It is our next... Yeah, yeah, it is our, it is our main attraction. It is one of... It is the new segment. Allow me to introduce to you Know Your Team. This is a brand new segment. It's going to feature one of the teams in the slip in the slip scene. In fact, if I look at my notes correctly, I do believe that this is a team that Yeah, right now this team is not signed up for the tournament for Sunday's tourney, but I would love for them to. And I did mention this team by name early on in this podcast. That's right. No limits. Well, I hope you all enjoy the first edition of Know Your Team featuring Featuring no limits. I got a little uh, bit tongue tied there. I almost called them limitless, which is their old team name. Anyway, enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Know Your Team. Uh, and let's see. For this edition, we have the full roster of no limits. We've got Glenn, the captain, shotgun. We got. Let's see, who else do we have here? We got Element Noises, and we got Koto. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> I forgot you! <laughs> <laughs> forgot? I noted all four of your names. Gren, Shotgun, Element Noises, and Koto. I know, I know. Okay. It's not even Element Noises anymore. <laughs> I know it's called Elements. In the I know, we're, we're, just, we're just messing. <laughs> anyway, yeah. all jokes aside... Here's how things are gonna go. I'm gonna be right. asking questions about specific members of the team, and the rest of the team will have to answer those questions to the best of their ability to show just how much, how well they know each other. With that being said, let's get right on into the first question. And ju judging from the jokes alone, I think this is gonna be a really good session. Now. This is gonna suck. Oh, good. There's still some laughter. There's still laughter. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just know this is gonna suck, and I'm gonna say something really stupid. We'll see. As usual. We'll see. Oh, 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 this, at, this show at, is at Just stop talking, oh. Jackson. At that, at that point, just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. Anyways. He's not wrong. Let's start with something. No, I'm not. Hmm. How salty. How salty slash tilted does Gren get when grinding in ranked RL? Oh no! Oh my do god! It, do it before I started playing once the other day, okay? Just just tell them before that. <laughs> so pretty much any time he couldn't hit a double or triple reset, he would immediately get tilted and get off. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> That's what sums up Jackson in a nutshell. I mean, they aren't wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay, so clearly we're all in agreement. Gren gets salty and ranked. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Koto, you didn't say anything. You're a bit quiet. But... Yeah, he, he's, he's the quiet one of the team. Yeah. Clearly, clearly. Don't know talking. Let me see. Let me see I'm not one guy. Okay, yeah, okay, so. okay. I was about to say, I was going to see if I can get him to say something like, Koto, 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 hi. Hi, Koto. Okay, okay, okay. Next question. What is Koto's biggest annoyance? 
It's too <laughs> quiet. Hard. <laughs> The, the, like the biggest, the pr biggest problem with him, or the thing that makes him annoyed. The thing that makes him annoyed the most. What's most annoying to Kota? Ball chasing and people interrupting. It's freaking two times circling around the court, freaking air dribbles. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and once. Yeah, well, I think that's more of a me thing. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that one overused joke when people say that I need to stop using my spikes when I air dribble. Oh yeah, that, that overused yeah. joke that we've been saying for Dude, literally that's three a joke. years. That's true. You need to stop using your spikes, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like I literally went over to his house. Like he like like because because like he's he's yeah. Okay. I went over to his house and I looked at his computer. He literally has a spikes client. Whenever he air dribbles, he could just attach the ball to his car. It's wild. <laughs> He's lying. It's not true. Don't believe just, him. Don't he, believe he, what he, he says. He's just too good that we tell him to stop using his spikes. Yeah, he's the biggest, just way too good at air dribbling. I don't have yeah. a spike high, high client. He gets annoyed when we say he isn't the best on the team. Or when we say that he is. He, he doesn't believe in it. He gets annoyed at that, too. So, yeah. Okay. Next question. What is Element's favorite book? Bro, Harry he Potter. doesn't read, does he? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not to read. No, he Elman's read. favorite book is just any manga. Nah, bro, his his favorite book is uh Fly Guy. I could say like like you know like those kids books about the fly and that one guy, Fly Guy. That's not even true at all. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you read? Wait, oh, wait, you, you actually close? you read? <laughs> Dude, look, scrolling through Reddit doesn't count, dude. Those are freaking images, bro. No, I don't want to hear my No, I actually read you, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this message don't count either. Bro, like, this is literally, like, like, <laughs> that, 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 that's the cover of the favorite book. I know yeah. That. That's the cover of the favorite book. I'm looking at it right now. No. Uh, like, folks, and folks watching, yeah, I am seeing the cover right now. Grant just posted it in the chat. Tell <laughs> me I'm wrong, Element. Tell me I'm wrong. You're yeah, lying to you. a Scholastic's book. <laughs> You're very wrong. Don't, wait, wait, actually, don't ask why I have that on my, on my uh, download on my computer, okay? Just don't, don't ask why I have The cover of that book used to be a profile picture for one of our group uh, chats. Oh, yeah, it was, too. That, that I remember that, too. But that's not why I had it, but yeah. Um, you read. What is your favorite book? Elements. What is your What is your favorite book? It's, gonna it's, be it, it's, it's a very old book. I think it came out in like 2015, oh, 16. Oh my god! <laughs> Not that old. Not that old. <laughs> it's called uh, Warriors. It's about like clans of cats and stuff like that. Clans. Oh, okay. For clans now. of cats. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's called Warriors. It's by. Oh, I actually forgot the name of the author. Next Aaron, question. Aaron, Aaron here? I remember. <laughs> wow. It was we're supposed to be Rocket League questions. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't sign up for this at all. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah well, we went for either. a variety of questions. Speaking uh, of questions. I think this one for you, Seth. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. If... Shotgun won the lottery. He would buy what? Buy another five-story house with a basketball <laughs> court on the roof. He would buy another monitor. monitor. <laughs> he would buy another monitor. Yeah. Um, oh, I, honestly, he probably would. He would buy like a scuffed controller and like a new Epic gaming chair and desk. Actually, wait, wait. Did you already get any desks? So? Yeah, oh. I got a new desk and a new yeah. chair for Christmas. Okay. Uh. Saying it, those are the two bad. things that I said. <laughs> I don't know, you'd probably like pay off some debt. Like, and then there's me who's laying in my bed on a five year old laptop. Pay off some debt, bro. He's like 13, 14. What am I saying? So, he doesn't know African debt. <laughs> how, how, how much are we talking? Like, yeah, how much is the lottery we're talking about? Is it like a hundred grand, million, billion, your mama, a clock, and Bill Gates credit card? Like, what are we talking? Well, first of all, your mama is not a financial number. And second of all, <laughs> <laughs> second of all, uh, let's uh, let's see. How about an off the cuff estimate of what if the lottery winning was a hundred thousand dollars? Okay. Honestly, okay. I would probably just give it to them, to be honest. Dude, oh. shut up. We're supposed to be answering the questions, retard. Shut up. No. Yeah. Hey, 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 easy, easy. I didn't say anything. I, I didn't. I didn't say anything, man. Yeah, no. Also, I have a second question or answer to your what you said. Wait, wait. 
if my mom is a financial thing, then what's her social security number? So why is that? I thought that was like talking about money. I was waiting for that res- for the response to that uh, joke. Oh, that's <laughs> Like, I what's her social security number? Cool. Anyways, uh, I think, yeah, I, I, I was going to say that because he's very indecisive like me. He doesn't know what to use his money on. So, or use things on. Like, he has, like, a few things, and then he's super indecisive, it seems like. Because that's how he plays in game, too. So, I, I, I usually yeah, yeah. Uh, just probably spread things around to everybody else. You know, I probably split it four ways, 25 grand to each. That's what I think you'd probably do. Like, like I was actually going to say that. but And then, uh, obviously, upgrade. What would he get with his part of the money? Probably, like... New monitor, upgrade some computer parts, get a nice 3090 inside of his computer. Or everything, actually. Upgrade everything inside of his computer, you know? The usual. The yeah. huge. The usual. Get a scuffed controller. Those are kind of wild. Or Thrustmaster, whichever one. Like, the, the weird swap ones. Like, you can swap out the joysticks. Those are pretty cool. Get a racing wheel. That <laughs> 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 would actually be perfect for Rocket League. <laughs> Dude, I actually want to play with <laughs> Mm-hmm. That, that would be pretty interesting to play Rocket League. With the, with I'm getting my driver's license today. Let's go, dude. How many voice cracks did you just have inside that one sentence, bro? <laughs> all, <laughs> all, of the, all of the voice cracks. Uh, I would say about 17. Dude, you can't even count the height, bro. What does that number even mean? <laughs> true that. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. True, but you know, you know we my line, Jackson. Rank them apart, not 17, okay? Jackson, you know my line for that. True, but. Uh. Yo. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it. On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it and keep monetization real. All right, let's move. Let's move on to the next question. What is Element's favorite Marvel movie? I'm going into specifics here. Oh, I, I don't even know what characters are involved in Marvel. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'm asking, so sp- what is your favorite Marvel movie? I didn't ask oh, you. Oh, that's what I mean. I don't oh, know what. Oh, oh, I know. I know. He's about to say that, point, man. He's just like, what's TV? He's about to say that, man. It, it's more like, what's TV for him? Exactly. It's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> Porter, we are talking about yours, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, maybe, uh, he, he probably doesn't even know. Like, like okay. Like, just, just elements name a Marvel character. That's a bigger challenge. <laughs> no, no. Nope, not happening. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was gonna say Batman or something, bro, and I was about to yell at him. <laughs> no, I, okay, I know that much. I know that one's DC. Oh, oh, but what, what about Superman? No clue. <laughs> <laughs> I know who it is, but I don't even remember if it's DC or or uh, Marvel. Okay, okay, Man, I don't okay. remember. You don't know okay. who Superman is? Let me educate. Superman, <laughs> DC. Batman, DC, but you know that already. Spider-Man, Marvel. The Dark Knight Rises, Bane. He is dc from the League of Shadows and all that jazz. Okay, okay. Yeah, Zatanna, your mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I don't really watch like superhero movies. I'm not yeah, really like watching. Yeah. dude. How uncultured are you? <laughs> Very uncultured. I watch anime for you read, everything. But you don't watch. Okay, I'm. I'm sorry, GJ. You would get staff of the decade if you banned them right now. Honestly, I wouldn't blame you. Burn <laughs> says no. Dang. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that I went into a specific type of movie there because that was great. Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> GJ, after this is gonna be like, oh god, what did I just do? <laughs> okay, what is Gren's least favorite video game? Oh, Geometry yeah, Dash. Geometry Dash. You are so wrong in so many languages. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, not yet. <laughs> Come on, all right, I'll, I'll give it to the first person that gets it. I, I, I'll give literally nothing. <laughs> hey, Jackson, what about Terraria? <laughs> Roblox. Like, you just leave call. Like, actually, give me a second. I could actually fix that really quick. One sec. All right, cool. Um, it's just this. Is <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah. the oh, there we go. There we go. We're back. He's back. <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right. Um. Yeah, yeah I, think he, he got I think his power man went out for a Porter, second. Or Porter's two. computer cut out. He got demoed. Yeah. He okay. Got demoed. Oh, Thank you. Somebody. 
I won't say who, but somebody decided to kick elements out from the group as a joke. No, I never do that, dude. Not okay, no, Porter. Never Porter, does that, never Porter should know the answer to this. Porter, well, what is my least favorite video game? It's not a mobile game. What is my least favorite video game? <clears throat> um, Brawlhalla. BTD6. <laughs> yes. What did you say? 1886. That's what he literally said. 1886. The worst game in existence. You, nobody got it. It's the second Skylanders. Oh. That nice. game you sucks. Played that game? We used to play that so much. Yeah, I know. That game sucks. <laughs> that game sucks. I hate it. I've never played a Skylander a day in my life, so I'm not gonna make any. I haven't about played it. that in so. I mean, many I guess years. it wasn't so bad. I mean, at least I had battle mode, bro. <laughs> right, Porter? At least I had battle mode. At least I had battle mode. Anyways, I yeah, that, that's a cool question. Yeah. Yeah, least favorite game is a Skylanders. That is interesting. <laughs> Rocket League. Rocket League. Yeah. I don't know if you heard of it. Rocket League, you say? Hmm, sounds like a... Sounds like an obscure indie title to me. Interesting. Yeah. Rocket Car? Okay. No, I, I, I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah. Like rockets, like... <laughs> oh, space, SpaceX, you know. Be like Elon Musk, you are into the moon. <laughs> Elon Musk, SpaceX. Okay, moving on. Moving on. I'll give you guys another question here. Who is Koto's favorite superhero? Um, ooh, a second superhero question, bro. I feel like I'm like 13 again. What the hell? I mean, there's one question I know everybody in this chat will know for <laughs> me at least. Yeah, let's let's not evade this question. Let's get this one right. One sec. I got. I got. Uh, I don't remember. It's their name. One sec. Let me just look it up. Um. Lippity clackity. <laughs> Lippity clackity. Clickety clack. Yeah, the Jackson's keyboard like ninety percent of the time. His favorite. Imagine she was KBM player. His oh, favorite. Dude. His favorite superhero. His favorite. I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna guess his favorite. It's, I don't, it's Twilight Sparkle I, by Human I from my little book. superhero, not <laughs> superhero where that is came superhero. from. <laughs> not, not Can I probably. answer it now? Spider Man. Captain Underpants. Yo, I literally hate you and everything you live for. <laughs> next time <laughs> next time I see you, I'm literally gonna like sit on you and it's gonna be really funny. Okay, so Koto's favorite superhero is Captain Underpants. Please don't be you're joking. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> the movie sucked. Dude. I remember the movie, the it's... It's a book. There's books of it, too. I like, know. No, they made a movie, and it sucked. I I'm not talking about the movie. movie. That thing is gonna suck. The I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about the books. Oh, okay, yeah, the books. He's kind of a savage, bro. He's like a big six foot seven black man on muscle, right? Oh, man. I'm imagining, sure. I'm imagining that same person holding a Captain Underpants book in his hands uh, <laughs> without feeling any bit of shame. And that's fine because, from what I've heard, the, con the books are pretty good. And I saw the books. The books. Really funny. I saw the books a few times when I was in high school. Yeah. Yeah, they are pretty funny. I stole them from the library and hid them, and then when they asked where they were, I said my dog ate them. Good job, Jackson. There was like two of them. I forgot which ones they were. One of them was like a toilet, and then the other one, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, let, let's, next question. Let, let, let's not talk about me stealing from my public library. Yeah, that's cool. No, let's talk about them more. Oh, funny take on the whole, my dog ate my homework deal. Yeah. My dog ate my controller. I can't play in the next tournament. My bad. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, since you asked, we'll give you one more question. Oh, no, 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 excuse me. When is Gren's birthday? Oh, gosh. What are the answer? 
Yeah, I've known you for five years, but I have no clue when your birthday is. Raw! <laughs> I mean, I don't know yours, so that's whatever, but I don't think you've ever told me. You don't, I don't think you've ever told me either. I, I told you, I, I literally DM'd you on my birthday. Like, <laughs> I, I posted something about my birthday on my birthday in the server, like, three times. I called you on my birthday, saying it was my birthday elements. How slow can you be? I don't remember when that is. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> you think I have a memory? Uh, no. <laughs> bro, bro, looks like somebody forgot his memory. <laughs> bro, he literally has two sticks of four gig RAM inside of his head, bro. He has, like, no memory. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Have you given an answer? Three. <laughs> um, April 1st. Quarter, shut up. I hate you. <laughs> how do you. No. No, how? No. No way. What about you, Elements? No. I have yeah. no idea. Seth? Come on, please. Just look Seth, back. Seth is gone. He's not here. No. Wait, why did he leave? Is wait. he dumb or is he dumb? Is he dumb or is he dumb? Wait, 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 what's going on? Did Shotgun leave, you say? Yeah, bro, he, he's on his period. It's okay, he's going through a rough time. Um, I think I think he was legitimately like, I didn't sign up for this and then left. <laughs> oh, God, damn it. Okay, so... Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, that's his yeah. actual birthday. <laughs> I, not, not Felipe can figure out my age, even though I told it to him twice. Because he's slow. Dude, you said that so fast, uh, it, it sounded like Felipe, like, like, Felipe, his name, you know? Yeah, like his name. Of course, he would slip in. A no, like not his internet alias. <laughs> I'm talking, like, Felipe is like an actual name. Right, right. Well, fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, Gren here likes to throw some shade at Felipe every now and then. Yeah, it's because it's cause he's my boyfriend. You don't put that about a lot of people. Don't, don't, don't put that in. Don't put that in. <laughs> don't put that in. Don't put that in. Please, DJ, please. <laughs> okay, we're going to end this off here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. A big thanks to No Limits for. And Glenn has left the building. <laughs> okay. A big thanks to the folks at No Limits for uh, making this happen. Hey, thanks for having us, man. All right, and we are back. I hope everyone is having a lovely evening, slash day, slash morning, afternoon, depending on where you're, where in the world you're living, as you're listening to this lovely podcast or watching it on YouTube. Now we have another interview lined up, but before I go right into it, I've been thinking about some. All these uh, segment recordings got me thinking. What if Ep what if Psionics did a partnership or collaboration thing with Marvel? I can imagine like Marvel style skins for the cars, you know, for Rocket League. Thor Dominus. Captain America Octane. Make it so that Hulk yells out puny car every time you demo someone. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh goal explosives would be pretty cool because you can have like have a, make a goal explosion that looks all magical and, and mystical, a la Doctor Strange. How would they implement a Thanos snap, though? That is something to think about. Anyways, we got another interview lined up and ready to go. Looking into my notes here, I do believe that this is... We already did Big Al, but the next one? The next one is, is an interview I've been meeting the show for a while. It, it features... A member of Salt and Pepper, Nemo. I hope you'll enjoy it. I know I will. Well, for the record, I actually enjoyed the interview when I did it too. Anyway, have fun. Okay, here I am with Nemo, member of Salt and Pepper, the former, one of the former champions of the Slips Weekly tournaments. Nemo, it is good to see you. Is thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Now, I've got me some questions lined up and ready to go for you. So let's get right down to business. Oh. Sounds good. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, first question. 
when did what got you into Rocket League in the first? Place? I know standard question, but might as well like start at off the with very beginning. Easy. Like what got you into Rocket League? The very beginning. Yeah, like what? Right. Yeah, but yeah, okay. basically, what got you interested in the game? So here I am, right? I, I'm. Um, this is like three or four years ago, Ooh. and I've I've never really like mess with twitch before at this point i get on twitch i think it's on the front page or something and it's like it's the mid-season madness for like season three they're doing like the drop shot and i was like wow that game looks really cool they're flying i think it was g2 against somebody and so i was just hooked on it then and then i got the game but then i had a laptop so it was like it wouldn't really run very well so i i kind of quit for a few months and i got back into it when i got a pc and then and, you know Rest is history. Yeah, there's hooked on phonics, and then there's hooked on rockets. You were hooked on rockets. <laughs> oh good. Yep. I think uh, I think you might have lapped into the mic, but anyways, let's continue on. Now, salt and pepper, and the previous like the tourney before the most recent one, you guys managed to win the whole darn thing, if I recall correctly. Only for you guys to go into the tourney. The uh, anniversary tourney that we've done. And let's see here. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Uh, you actually made it all the way to the semifinals, only to lose to Co Stone Cold Lasagna. What was it like playing against Stone Cold? I know we, uh, I, I know we, I think, yeah, what am I thinking? We didn't, I don't think we interviewed you guys before in that, in that, uh, during that tourney stream. So it's a good time to ask about that now. Uh, so that game, that, that day, I think it was, when was it? Was it two days ago or yesterday? Uh, it was uh, Sunday, so two days ago. Okay. So, like, we were playing, I remember getting on, we were all playing, like, terrible that day. Uh, mm -hmm. that's not an excuse, okay. Like, they were better than us, mm -hmm. but so we were starting to warm up a little bit once we got into it, because we had to do it for, like, two hours. We had to do the, uh, the qualifier match against... I forgot who it was. I think it was XV official, and that was difficult because I think we lost game one, and then we won game two and three, or maybe we two out. I don't remember. And then we went into it against Stone Cold Lasagna, and they're all like, they were they used to be like two point one Ks, right? So we're going into this, and we're thinking, oh my god, these guys are cracked out of their minds. You know what are we gonna do, right? Because like we've been two Ks before. You know we're kind of consistent against them on good days, but you know. They were, I think they were top 64 RLCSX too. So it was, it was a mess. And we went into it and for the first game, their teammate like didn't show up. So we had, they had a 2v3 and we won game one. And then we waited, I think like 15 minutes between games for their teammate to show up. And then in game two, we went to like the last second. And I think it was like the last 30 seconds and we had a double commit. And they scored, and they took the lead, and then they won the game. And then the next game, we just completely fell apart. So, uh, yeah. But it was good playing against them. They were really good. Yes, and of course, as we've seen many times throughout Slip's history with Rocket League, a poorly timed overcommit can lead to disaster. Of course, a carefully timed overcommit can lead to glory. Yeah. Um, um you definitely you've played in you played in two tourneys, so you've got a good idea of how to answer this question. What do you think of the uh, competition so far in all these tourneys and slips in general? What do you think of these teams? Uh, like the, the like the total skill of the teams, or like what? Like this, uh, what do you think of the skills of these teams? Like the, the, the including the teams that you played against. What do you think yeah. of the overall competition? Well, in the first, in the first tournament we played, which was the weekly one, uh, everyone was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, compared to us. Shots uh, fired. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it. I'm. I just gotta be honest with it. Like they, they played good, but they weren't. I don't think they were quite on our level. And then the the anniversary one, we got absolutely slapped because I'm pretty sure there was a 
there's a team that had thousands of dollars of earnings from Europe playing. Then there was that team, Stone Cold Lasagna, who were just out of their mind good at the game. And there were other, I think there was like two or three other teams that were better than us there too. So I think in that second tournament, the anniversary, like competition really went through the roof. And yeah, it's it's good now, but that first tournament, like, I don't think the competition was as good. Uh, I mean, obviously, because we got top eight last one and we won the first one. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The competition is 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 growing in terms of strength. Now, let's see. Then another question for you. Um, if you were to win the uh, next tourney that's coming up next week, what will you do with the prize money? Uh, put it into my PayPal where I put all the other prize money and save it and watch it become big and then actually do something with it. I don't know what because. <laughs> I think I only have like, I think I got thirty in there right now. But, uh, I mean, I bought a basketball with one of the older ones that I won. Okay. But that's all I've done with prize money. So yeah, I'd probably just save it for a while, see what happens with it. I had no idea you were interested in basketball. Well, actually, I did have an idea. I see the profile picture. <laughs> Do you actually play basketball by any chance? Uh, not organized, but I enjoy it, you know, my free time sometimes, just go outside. Just... Yeah, that's one of, yeah, going outside. Going outside. Uh, yeah, 2021. Yeah. Days away as of this interview. It's true, it's true. <laughs> Anyways, let's have a little fun here with this next question. Out of all the members of your team, this is including you here, who is the best looking person? Best looking? I did say we're gonna have fun with this one. <laughs> Probably Dare. Darian. Mm. Yeah. Dude, he's Italian, okay? <laughs> wow. Like. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. When you think Italian, you think good looking. One of the first things. <laughs> that in simply magnificent food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to have a whole conversation about Italian noodles. Like, it's crazy. Like, you, I, like, I can imagine that you ask an Italian about Italian, about their, you know, Italian pasta or Italian cuisine in general. And if, and if they know their stuff, they'll give you a, they'll give you a very good conversation about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had like a 30 minute conversation a few days ago about different types of pasta. <laughs> Yes, yeah. and as, as I deal with an itchy nose, or tingly, let's see. If you were the boss of slips for the next tournament, what, what what's one thing that you would change about it? If I was the boss? Yeah, if you, had the if you had control over slips, what would be the one thing that you would change about it? Improve and all that. Um, I mean, it's kind of subjective, so I don't know if it would be an improvement, quote-unquote. Um, I personally incorporate past results into seeding a little bit more mm. than just going off of MMR how it is right now. Not because MMR doesn't isn't important or doesn't matter. It's just like it seems odd that we had to qualify last time for the tournament. We had won the time before that. You know. Yeah, I, I, I here's the thing. Uh, a little bit of uh, tourney lore here. I tried to get you guys into like the quarterfinals since you had won previously but yeah. the but the way the bracket was looking with 17 teams with such a, with <laughs> different varieties of skill level it was tough like there was multiple gcs yeah. multiple gc yeah. teams we had to really put our heads together on that one it was upsetting a little bit that we had to go against like the best team in the first like real round that we played but i mean at the end, he, they still would have won the tournament, you know, and it's not like there's second or third place, you know, prizing. So I don't think it really made that big of a difference. But there's definitely situations where, like, if you have second place prize money, right, and this this team may be the second best, but they go against the first best, and you have something like a quarter final matchup. If anybody in the audience 
watch his Counter Strike. If you remember, last year at the major, they had Astralis and Liquid against each other in the quarterfinals because they weren't doing great in the group stage. But that was like the final by a long shot, and Astralis just crushed everyone past that. So I'm All not right. saying that's what happened, right? I think I don't think we were the second best team. I don't think we were top three in that tournament, especially how we were playing. But I just think that, you know, I would have liked to not have to qualify for it. But I understand completely about the MMR and all that. So, and I appreciate you trying to get us a spot. So, yeah, and I appreciate uh, you. Uh, you appreciate you guys playing your best out there in spite of the less than ideal situation. Now, one more question before we head off. Which two teams do you think you'll meet in the finals? Like, like two possible teams. It depends on who's playing. Obviously. Um, if, <laughs> yeah, if Stone Cold Lasagna is playing, I feel like we wouldn't meet them in the finals. I feel like we'd meet them before that. because I, well, If we get second seed, then maybe... But if we made it to the finals, um, I need to look at the team name. Uh, either Stone Cold Lasagna or I think they were German. I forgot it was. Uh, I, I forgot the name of it of the team. Hold on, I think we investigated a lot into it. Um, let's see, Dunno Chief, those guys. Ah uh, so yes. Either, <laughs> either Stone Cold Lasagna or Dun. No chief, I feel like is who we would face in the finals uh, if we made it there. Un understood. We'll have to see who signs up for the tourney. That's coming up next week. And uh, Niwo, thank you very much for coming. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the opportunity to talk and give an interview. Of course, a big shout outs to Salt and Pepper. And we're back. Back once again. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch our stream. I mean, watch our podcast. <laughs> a little bit used to the whole streaming thing, excuse me. Now, once again, we've got our 3v3 week. We got weekly 3v3 tourney coming up on Sunday, January 10th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, registration ends on January 9th. That's a Saturday, by the way, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You want to join in on that action and you haven't registered as a player yet? Bit of clarification to make sure that I'm giving you the right info. Go into the Slips Discord. You talk with Lola. You, you uh, follow the directions provided by our bot Lola. Who's DMing you instructions the moment you arrive. And if all goes well, you'll be registered as a player. And you'll just need to have a admin or staff member verify you. But if something goes wrong, you'll let a staff member know. They'll give you access to the rest of the server, and then you can go into the bot commands channel and use exclamation mark create account. That's exclamation mark create account to restart the process. Once you get through all that, and then you're verified as a player, you can join a team, make one yourself, bring your friends to play with you, whatever you want to do. Of course, we also have our 1v1 divisions up and running the matches being played as we speak tourneys coming up to determine who in those divisions will be the division champions remember we got low rank mid medium we got low rank mid rank and high rank for our three divisions they want to join in on that action make sure you're already registered and verified as a player first and then use exclamation mark finalize player you get started on registering as a 1v1 player. Once that's done, all the instructions have been followed. Have a staff member or admin verify you with exclamation mark verify solo player. That's their command to use, by the way, admin level. Well, staff level, excuse me. And once they've taken care of that, you will be automatically placed into the division depending upon your rank and MMR. Now on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're nearing the end of this lovely, lovely podcast. Oh, come on, come on. Want to do some more? <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. All these interviews and the new Know Your Team segment. It's been fun. 
But I gotta end it off at some point. But before I do, before I do, let me give you a little heads up. Given recent events as of this podcast, I would like to remind you all to be safe, take care of yourselves and each other, wear a gosh darn mask, especially if you live in the United States, and make sure that you look into what's going on. Like, not just like passing plans, but make sure you really understand what's going on and the minutia behind it before you start making any assumptions one way or another. On that note, this is GJ saying thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you're on, if you're watching a YouTube video, have yourselves a lovely day, evening, and night, depending on where you live. Play well on wherever, whatever game you play in, especially Rocket League. Good luck. Have fun.